Thank you everyone for joining us today. Today's live event, we are going to be discussing Jonard Tools CM-1 Cable Mapper Pro. Um, before uh, I go any further, please take a moment to like our Facebook page and go to jonard.com forward slash live to enter a contest to win a CM-100. Um, I am Ed Serbona, Senior Director of Engineering here at Jonard Tools, and with me today I have Brenda, who's going to be helping me with any questions that may come up. Uh, and I have, as always, Mike running the production, and you may hear me converse with him, uh, just setting up uh, the unit maybe in a better spot, so no worries there. So with that done, let me get started. So. CM100 is, we call it a Cable Mapper Pro. It's a cable mapper that will allow you to map out network cables, telephone cables, uh, your coax cables, and the like. It has a built-in toner, and I'll go over those features. So the CM100 comes with the CM100 unit. It comes with eight uh, network identifiers, eight coax identifiers. It has two uh, telephone cable jumpers, two network cable jumpers, and a coax cable jumper. Also has a network and telephone cable remote so that you can check and verify the mapping of the uh, actual cable itself, which I'll demonstrate, and it comes with two batteries and an instruction manual. So with that, let me get started here. Um, what I'll do first is I'm just going to do some basic telephone cable that I happen to have right here, just show you some of the features uh, of the tool. Mike, is the unit in the right place? Yes. OK, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to power it up. Just by hitting the on off button here, you'll see a few marks on here, a few buttons. So we have voice, data, video. Pretty self explanatory. Voice is for a telephone cable, data for network cable, video for uh, coax. There's a couple other buttons down here. A tone button, which will allow you to put a tone onto a, a cable, and a cycle button. The cycle button works in conjunction with the tone button and allows you to put the tone either on an individual wire in a network or telephone cable or allow you to do it in a pair or all six or all six, eight or four cables all, all at one time. So with that, let me just do a quick demo here and I'll take you through each of the cables. So, here we have telephone cable. You can see it recognizes nothing is connected to it. So I am going to connect one cable here. I'm going to take the remote and connect it up. And there you go. It tells you, OK, I'm on voice. The cable passes me, no shorts, opens. It's giving you the pin readout. So the four wires, so it's on two, three, four, and five, and they match with, e with each other. So that's a, a perfectly good cable. Now, I could jump over here to tone and put a tone on the cable. Okay, let me see about putting it. I'm going to switch the, whoop, switch the high gear. Okay, do another run. There we go. Oh, okay, and you can see I'm cycling through here. There you go. And that turns, by the way, this one turns it off, so there's no tone on it. Um, so that's how you put a tone onto a cable. By the way, I was using Jonard Tools 
TEP-200 Pro, which works great with this. So I'll take that off. And now what I'll do is I'm going to hook the unit up. I have another cable here and just show you how to use the identifiers and I'll show you the mapping on the network cable. So I'm using one of my jumpers. Here, I'm gonna to jump to this cable have here. And I'm gonna pull out an adapter, identifier, hook it up, switch to data. Okay, Mike, can you see the results here? So, it's on data. It did a test and it detects uh, the identifier number one, which is correct for, for this setup. If I switch it to two, it would show two and so on. And this is a great way to map out where your network cables are in, let's say, a residence, in your kitchen, living room, uh, den, where maybe you have a computer, and you can map it all out and know which one's which. Okay, uh, again, you can put uh, a tone on this. Let's go through two. See, as you can see, I went through all eight individual wires. Now there's pairs that can go on, and I can put it on the, the cable itself here. You can hear that, right? Yes. Okay. So that's how you use the identifier. And let's see, we'll map that out. Yeah, I can map that out. There we go. I'm going to take another jumper, connect it up, and data. Okay, great. So what this is showing, it failed. There, it recognizes one and two, four and five, seven and eight, but three and six, okay, it does not recognize they are open. And actually, that's the way the cable is wired up. So it's telling me uh, actually what is going on. So that's good there. Switch that out. And now we can perform the same, same test on a coax cable. Okay, so I'm just going to hook this up here. I'm going to grab an identifier and put it on one side of this coax cable. I got my jumper here. Whoop. What did I do here? What goes here? Oh, there we go, don't need the jumper. Hook it up. Move it back in to the screenshot. Go over to video. And there you go. It's identifying ID number one. And you can see that's number one there. Again, if I wanted to, I could put a tone on the cable. And pretty much, uh, that is what the CM-100 does. So, with that, any questions, uh, Brenda? Yep, we have a question here. The first question is, will it test through splitters? Okay, so question, will it test through splitters? The answer is, really, no. Um, most splitters, this will, it would show up as a short, but there are so many different splitters on the market. It could also show up uh, as, an as an open. It depends if it's a cheap one uh, or a more expensive one. Uh, we've seen results all over the place, just depending on different brands. So the answer is really no, it does not test through splitters. The second question is, do you have to use Jonard's tracing probe with the CM100? Do you have to use the Jonard uh, probe? It certainly helps to use the Jonard probe, and really that probe 
works really well with uh, the TEP-200, really works well with the CM-100. Okay. The next question is, is the probe included with the CM-100? Is the probe included? No, the probe is not uh, included with the CM-100. Uh, the next one is, does it tell or identify if the wire scheme is T568 or A or B? Okay, so question is, does it tell you if you're a TIA 568 A or B? No, it does not. It does not do the color pairing for you to identify uh, if it's 568 A or 568 B. All right, last question so far is, does it work on live cable? Good question. I like that question there. Uh, question is, does the CM-100 work on live cable? The answer is no. It will tell you it's connected to live cable, um, but you need to immediately take it off because it will damage uh, the unit. Okay. So far, that looks like that's the I, last can, I can't see. I'm sorry. You got to come closer. <laughs> There's another question. Uh, we have a couple more questions. They're just trying to pull them up now. All right. It says, can it be used to certify CAT6 runs? Um, the CM-100 is not designed as, cer as a certification tool. It is a uh, more simplistic mapper. It's just there to help you identify cables in a run so that you know where each cable goes. So it's not certifying Cat5, Cat6, or their speeds or the like. Oh, um, by the way, uh, I didn't mention, um, if you enter our contest today at jonard.com forward slash live, we will be giving away a CM-100. Anything else, guys? We're good? Okay. With that, it looks like we're all set. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Be well and stay safe. Thank you.